Quarantine, my boy. Folks, really not disturbing him at all. He's definitely on the prowl. He's uh, he's looking for a meal. So I think he's going to scent mark just here, no? I thought he was. But that's a great signal, those small bird calls like that, an alarm call, and that's what we would... ...looking for leopard, and we heard that, we'd know that there was potentially a predator of some description near those birds. I'm just going to move down a bit further. Thanks. 
picking up some scent there. And see if he was to lie there and uh, lie down in that spot there, you would hardly see him. Definitely interested in some scent there. Now he may. Scent mark here. You may he might just lay down there. Beautiful. That's a beautiful little vantage point. He, um, he might make a decision to move, or they might move him. Once. and trying to make sure I imprint that on my mind to which animal <coughs> God, look at those beautiful teeth Amazing Feel the heat It's all right with everyone. We might just sit here for a little bit and be with him. He's very relaxed. So many times when I've been with your cameraman or your crew and this sort of encounter occurs and when it's magic in, uh, in the can sort of thing for me is that now this is coming to you live. This is the most exciting. It's a, it's a sobering moment for me when you think um, there's uh, some amazing things from different parts, but right here on Juma Game Reserve, right now, that's going on. Or as well, where he 
laid down. Um, he may have laid down up a dry creek bed or river bed that we talked about. And he's had a bit of a rest there. And then he thought, I'm going to have a look around. I'm going to have a little bit of a snoop around and see what I can fly flat again. He might stay here for a bit longer now. Wow. But then, if an opportunity presents itself as well, I'd kind of put money on. He'd take it up. And I sort of said this to you, you earlier, but domestic cats, too much, but, you know, that cat family, you'll see a lot of similarities if you own uh, a domestic cat uh, in either the uh, grooming himself. And you can probably all relate to that. little bit of a problem if you wanted to go down and give him a pat, that's for sure. <laughs> that's not what we do. This is a wild animal, a very mall to the vehicles, but uh, staying a, a suitable distance, well, he approached us before on the road, um, but about um, whether we have any uh, impression on them. The distance we are away now, as we mentioned before, is just a really respectful distance. We haven't put pressure on him. He's not uh, feeling under, be showing us. He's grooming, and I think, I have a funny feeling, it's going to be a little bit, just the way he's, His body shape has gone comfy position. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With a big sigh at the end. So. Wow. Um, we'd love to hear your thoughts about this morning and uh, what we've been up to. And it's um, .tv. And uh, send us an email and uh, we'll hopefully be able to answer those questions for you. But I've just been... Uh, and what we've seen. And I know Pete, um, just from what I've heard from the control room this morning, Pete, uh, we've had a few hiccups. extraordinary bunch of people and they um, they really work work night and day to, to make this come to you. Pete's vehicle will be back on track uh, this afternoon and everyone will be working tirelessly to fix those little glitches. We all know we're coming live to you from the from the African bush. We'll fine-tune that and as long as you stick with us and believe in us um, we'll guarantee that you'll uh, be along every afternoon and every So at the moment, if you've just joined us, <laughs> we're looking at a, a flight. You can only sit with a leopard as long as you, you can while it's lying down. Um, he may get up again, and we'll just sit and be for a little bit. This is the quarantine male, and he's just holed up in this little... Uh, little overhang and uh, he's covered beautifully there so uh, Natasha Natasha is in Austin, Texas I'm 
sorry. You'll have to repeat, I had a little bit of break up there. Okay, is this Carilla's Cup? Is this Carilla's Cup? You'll have to help me with that. Uh, I'm wondering if any of the viewers can help me with that. Uh, I'm still learning all these cats, so I'm going to have to find... Okay, mate, thanks for that. Uh, are we still on? It is Kula's cub, and uh, it's turning into a magnificent boy. He's just sat up again now. He's got that look in between, uh, sort of, I want to go to sleep, and I'm... He's looking, he's listening to sounds and, and uh, reading the bush, that's for sure, but... He's also struggling a little bit with his heat because it is picking up a bit. But he's got his eyes open there, I'm going to ask. So as I've said before, um, I'm learning all these cats with you and Many of you do know these cats, um, the line, I'd really love your help at any point in time. You can help me along with uh, whose eyeball one, and you do know that individual from uh, something that's been imprinted on your mind a long time ago when you first saw that cat Because it's a great thing to share. This is what it's all about. It's about sharing... like-minded passion about wildlife and you know everyone that's out there and everyone that's on the drive with Pete and I um, we learn hopefully what we share with you um, uh, enlightens you on the, on the background and the history I've realised that um people in the animal world, the older we get, the more we share, and that's what it's about. Any knowledge you've got, learning from anybody you can. It's interesting, just down to the right, the, the area that he sat here nearby is a, um, is what we'd probably call a wallow. And we saw a few of those yesterday, I pointed them out, they're right here. It's just an area where... It probably was a small water point uh, soon when these rains come. But at the moment now it's been churned up so much by uh, species that have come down to drink, and particularly the bigger animals. Um, and what they would come do down is when there was 
drinkable water. They would have drummed buffalo particularly, would have churned it up to the point where it's just become like a mud bath now. Animals coming down to drink from there, but it's not. Water, you'd probably get, you know, some of the antelope would come down to it. Um, and this is why, at least not looking like uh, he, uh, he wants to do any hunting at the moment. But what would happen is uh, he would be lying, unaware that he's there. And then he, being the stealthy, magnificent hunter that he is, would take that opportunity or seize that hello, boys. Uh, you know, buffalo males, <laughs> he probably wouldn't, they definitely wouldn't. Uh, and he would probably lay very, very low and hopefully not be seen and then off. But if it was a smaller antelope or mammal, uh, but uh, it would have to be probably something quite substantial for him to move from here. He's gone down for a a bit. It's coming up to she's just rising. So I doubt it. But if an elephant herd came here, he'd probably lay very, very low and push himself right push him out of there. But this is the interesting thing as well, like and we we look and we look and we look and we could drive straight past that. Straight past that, we'd hardly, I mean, from that road just that we came around, you'd hardly see that leopard lying there. And this is the beautiful thing as we're past. It's quite a fantastic feeling. This place is teeming with all types of wildlife, and uh, we've been a... If you want to know any more information about times and what we're doing in the future in the, in the next six weeks, three months, and uh, you'll get loads of information there. Um, National Geographic uh, website as well will have that information. And uh, in Big Cat Week, we'll be going this sort of practice period of getting all the fine tuning, all the details is, I think, a fantastic thing for you to be along with for us. Um, Pete is, uh, for me, uh, as I said, I sat back there last night and talked to Pete, and Pete said to me, he said, you're going to love this so much, and uh, I couldn't quite understand this today, and now this morning, it's just, it's just the most unbelievable feeling to have you on board.